Go ahead. All right, how to set up the frame? Take one. You probably need a knife to open the box, or scissors. Sharp set of keys probably would do the trick too. Okay, in the box you'll have either a set of glides or rollers, and this one is all glides, so all six legs have a, has their set of glides. The easiest way to set up the frame is obviously opening up the box and sorting out all your pieces. You'll have your set of hardware to set up the frame. Also included is uh, some extra bolts so that you can attach a headboard to your frame if you have one. Um, you have a left and a right and your center supporting bar. Grab your queen or double sized box spring, set it face down on the floor. Prop open your leg extensions. This part with the bracket at the end where your headboard would attach, so that'll go to, towards the head of the bed or the wall where you're going to be putting it against. Fully extend braces. This frame here is a, cl is a clamp on frame, so you'll notice that you have a male and a female. This one here is the female, and on this end here, you'll notice how it has the male prong sticking out to wedge into the other set. Okay, now you grab your center supporting bracket, wedge it underneath the head and the bottom foot, line up the holes. You have a, a square, very small bolt, um, two of them, and then you have your four uh, extra bolts for a head bolt. Feed your bolt right through. But you're not. These are half inch. Yep. Half inch wrench to tighten. And the last step, putting on your glides or rollers on your frame. Uh, this is exactly the same procedure for a double size. The only uh, difference is this center beam does not uh, is not included. So you just fasten on the bolts and uh, as a final step.
Put your assembled frame aside. Lift up your mattress, your, your mattress and box spring. Get them ready for installation. Your assembled frame facing down or towards the wall or your headboard. That's how you set up a frame.